San Diego Automotive Museum is located in beautiful Balboa Park. And when you walk through the doors, you won't just find an incredible collection, you'll have a one of a kind educational experience. Lenny, the San Diego Automotive Museum has been here since 1988, but there have been some major changes. What are you most proud of? Oh, most proud of just the overall changes in general. I think the guest experience has changed dramatically, and the mission of the museum is followed a little bit more regimentally. And it's just a great experience when people come in here. And we've gotten a lot of great compliments that it's a family-friendly environment, things for the whole family to do, and just really awesome cars to look at. What opportunities are there for the everyday family that maybe wants to take a stroll through Balboa Park and come through your doors? Oh well, yeah, come through our doors and it's going to be, a, first off, I think it's a very inviting environment. So when you come in here, everything's taken care of. We take pride in everything that we show and do. We have a great kids' corner. Uh, it used to be kind of like this little hole in the wall, but now we've pulled it out and uh, there's an F1 car the kids can get in and they can take pictures. There's a Lego ramp. Uh, there's an arcade, all free for the kids to participate in. Then we have an adult arcade or Whoa. simulator where they can actually simulate racing all over the world, but we have the simulator here. And then, of course, our DeLorean. You know, a lot of museums don't touch, don't touch, but no, we're like, hey, get in there and see what it's like. And uh, we invite our guests to get into that car. There's a couple others here. One of the most significant pieces in the museum it holds the world record for the longest non-stop road trip. Oh, really? Meaning the wheels never stopped rolling. And it went from San Diego to New York. No way. Yep. And then it also did Baja, Mexico to Anchorage, Alaska. If you look, like, there's a 50-gallon um, shower. You modify the motor. This is Louis Matar doing all this work. Right there, there's a platform. So if they're driving and they get a flat, they can change the tire while it's driving. And what they do is they have these hydraulics here in the back. And they would drop down, so then the wheels on the on the left side, while the right side was up, would still be able to take the car moving. Then they had their ironing board, their stove, a microwave, uh, a commode, a hookah, a bar, tape recorder. I mean, this thing has it all. Oh this is like the the pre RV. <laughs> What you are doing for local youth is incredible. Tell us about this amazing vocational program that you've built. We just really started uh, looking at our donors, and they kept saying, man, if you can teach a kid to change a tire, I'll hire them at $22 an hour. Oh, if you can teach a kid to do this skill, I'd, I'd hire them. You know, the auto shops are, are closing faster than they're producing the kids for, for the workforce. And that opportunity came to me exploring the idea of teaching kids the trade. I mean, for two generations, we've been teaching kids and, and educating them for college. I worked for four years as a middle school teacher, and I taught in Lincoln and Morse areas, so specifically the areas we were trying to, tar trying to target. And when I first heard about this vocational program that I'd be kind of overseeing, um, I can immediately think of dozens of students that I've had over the years that would absolutely thrive um, in this program and really set them up uh, with a a path for professional success. Um, some of the kids, we, a lot of the kids I had, you know, it was a setting where they didn't have professional role models to follow or they wanted to take a certain path. They knew they wanted a certain career and they wanted to work in a certain place, but they didn't know how to get there and they didn't have anyone to ask of how do we get here. So when we took the kids to Morse, they got to paint um, the pinstriping on the wheels. So mm -hmm. all this white striping you see along the rims, they got to do that. Um, so that was really cool, really good experience for them. Um, they got to restore it at a professional level. You can also see along all the, all the doors and on the sides, that white pinstriping is really level. It's really nice. Um, and it's concourse ready. We took this to Las Vegas and it won. Wow. Um, it's, it won its class. Look at that. So, and that was part of the efforts that they did. Right here. Got a little award. So they can join through the website. We have a link on our website to um, the Vocational Education Academy. Um, they can also throw me an email and I'll send them the form that way. Well, this museum has been here for decades. We are excited to take you to San Diego's newest museum. Don't go anywhere, that's coming up next.